Welcome everyone to today's episode, Sinners, Heretics, Blasphemers. This merciless, twisted world is a prison for those that truly deserve punishment. Do you need punished? Spanked? Do you need a pee ditty? <laughs> well, whatever you're into, let's see what awaits us in the dark. What the f What the f is that? Some parts of this game may be considered violent or cruel. Alright, let's get to it. Definitely a Silent Hill vibe, so I'm kind of excited to play it. Memory is the true source of strength. A person who... Re okay, that was quick. A person who remembers their family is strong. A person who remembers their duty is also strong. This is interesting. What kind of person are you? Damn, how long have I been here? My head hurts so much as though something is tearing through my brain. All I can remember is running into this elevator to escape that monster. After that, it's just darkness. Okay, interact. Yeah, I'm gonna try the controller. It's always seemed easier with Silent Hill type games because I know you get those weird camera angles. Okay. It's an old war poster. It reminds me of the ones I saw when I was a young boy. A sharp pain runs through my head when I look at it. I think the elevator is broken. I can't even tell if it goes up or down. But yeah, definitely creepy. Ooh. Oh, what the hell? Go forth and fear not what lies ahead. Do not forget our agreement. You have braved the journey thus far. You should know failure is not an option. It is time. Welcome to Carpenter Asylum. Asylum. <laughs> oh. the heck's going on? Oh, great. Well, at least I have my flashlight. Items. Oh, what the? Okay. Yep. 100% Silent Hill vibes. Nice. Okay, so I can run. Someone screaming already, blood on the floor. Oh, shit. What the fuck was that thing? Yeah, I know. <laughs> what the shit? It feels like I'm losing my mind. I'm so fucking right, scared right now, you shut up! Jump scare immediately. Damn. Uh, psychiatric ward. But yeah, we don't know where we are. I wouldn't have lasted very long in this world without these painkillers. 
<laughs> oh, I get a weapon already? I suppose he has no use for this anymore. Knife. I assume I have to put that. Yep. Okay, how do I attack? Okay, just L and R. That's good. I can attack while running, because I know that's going to be useful. They're like a three, like a uh, quick 180 turn. Eh, I guess it's already kind of there. Okay, so I can like attack a couple times and then run. Okay, that's good. It's locked, but I can hear someone's footsteps on the other side of the door. Knock on the door. Of course. Oh, it's a woman. Visiting hours are over. Please come back tomorrow. Wait, so I'm probably going to have to fight something right now. Or can I go in the elevator? Elevator call button is broken. I need to find another way out of here. I was going to say, is there like a breaker box somewhere? Or can I attack this? Oh. Or maybe I need to talk to her again. No. The patients are asleep. Do not disturb them. Right, but I need in. Stop banging on the door or I will have to call the police. Did it get darker? Okay. I thought the room got darker. Get the fuck out of here. Oh no. Oh shit. It looks like this place already hates me. Yep. I knew it. I'm in a trap. Okay, I figured that out. And hold. Oh, I can hold it. Uh, RB to switch targets. I'm gonna freaking run at him. Let's go. Oh, so I can't. let me run and attack. Now I can't. I guess that I'm targeted. My mind is flooded with a strange noise when those creatures are nearby. Okay, that was a little... That thing was ugly as hell. That was a nice image. Deleted. Yeah, for some reason, if when I'm targeting, it won't let me, like, run around and attack like this. It just slows me down. But it's as if once I go to ready my weapon... Oh, hello. Jesus. This place seems familiar. I might have been here before. Not as a patient, of course. change in music was like quick that's a perfect team isn't it what the hell are you talking about perfect team oh okay cool so i get a gun this is a demo if i didn't if you didn't know i risked not too sure how long this is going to be. My diary, what the hell is it doing here? Could it be that I lost it in this asylum? No, none of this makes sense. Patient records are stored here. 
One of the files is soaked in blood and almost falling out of the drawer. The text is barely legible, but I can make out a few lines. Date of birth, 11 13 1933, request 980, diagnosis C, PTSD with increasing paranoia. Okay, main treatment types, light, here. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is him. Yeah, turn that shit off. The door is locked. I need a key to open it. Oh, okay. Ugh. Thank you. I'm assuming it's just like, once again, Silent Hill. Like, I pause it and use it. Yep, yeah, okay. <clears throat> Some dark period in the history of this place has been frozen in time. Yeah, what the heck, dude? Isn't it strange for an asylum to have an operating theater like this? In any case, I doubt this guy was being treated for schizophrenia. Actually, upon closer inspection, it looks like they sewed his stomach shut. Alright, so I'm clearly going to have to open that up. The medical instruments are extremely outdated, resembling something that would be used to torture rather than anything else. What do they even treat here? Death. They treat death. Oh shit! Who the hell are you? Richard, is it really you? I've been waiting for so long, trapped in this living hell. I am so tired, but we can now escape this together. Go through the door on the left and find me. I will explain everything. But this must be... Okay. I might be able to break these boards with something. Got it. I don't know if I can break it with this. Yeah. Entry to the next floor is blocked. I wonder if the patient did this. Huh. This door doesn't look like it belongs here. It's locked from the other side. Also, with this, I wonder if this is like a, uh, a hub base. Thank you. What's this? Oh, I thought it was a weapon. A beautiful feather. A pack of cigarettes. The brand was discontinued over a decade ago. I hear some machinery or something. Stop that. It's just a toilet. Surprisingly, it's probably the cleanest thing in this place. The door is locked from the other side. Yeah, who's in there? Holy shit! Alright, get me the fuck out of here. What the shit? Good lord. Dude, that was creepy as hell. The door is locked. I need a key to open it. Just empty, blah, blah, blah. Ooh. There are metal change on this door. I need a proper tool to remove them. It'd be sweet if I just got it randomly. go in here and kill this thing? Oh, I didn't open all. Oh, I didn't see the blood. I think he killed himself or whatever it was. Okay, so where am I supposed to go then? You... No, not here. Alright, it's been a minute since I've had these weird camera angles, so it's a little funky. So 
So can I do it with this? Oh, I can. Okay. Well, I needed to explore anyway. Okay, it won't. There we go. Holy shit. Okay. You stop with the noises. Thank you. Heiser's note number one. I must admit, Clint's unwavering strength surprises me. No, it frightens me. How many times have we pried him from the afterlife, even years after its expiration date? His stubborn heart insists on beating, but I wonder, is it out of love or spite? Oh, so I think he died. Because I was supposed to help him. Someone killed him, didn't he? Yep. Dang, man. I really hope I was just seeing things. This entire asylum feels like it was built upon someone's sick fantasy. It can't be mine, though, right? Alright. Well, he's either dead or a miracle happened. What the shit? What the fuck is that? Dude, that thing was huge. Oh my god, okay. Oh no, oh no. Come on. They're creeping me out. Come on. Those things are creepy. Do you go around the damn thing? All right, so did he drop something? Gross, this thing is just rot okay, rotten food. Okay, so I guess he doesn't drop anything. The door is locked. I need a key to open it. Uh, oh yeah, I did get a key, right? A uh, shower room key. You yeah, found in the corridor. Well, am I able to just... Okay. Shower room key. Can you go around the damn table? Yeah, it's always these kind of angles. The camera angles that made Silent Hill so creepy. And then you could hear the monster in front of you, but you couldn't see it. Yeah. Well, it seems like this game already has some jump scares, which is good. Or, that's right, I already went in here. Shower. See, I don't know if I have to go in the inventory and... Okay, where'd the key go? It's not in my inventory anymore. Oh, then that. And then there's nothing I can do with that. And then there was nothing there, just the... Uh elevator and I didn't see a door back here but I do s yep this camera thing is fucking with me nice I missed that showers okay here we go I hear that static pile of dirty clothes with an old toy blaster tangled within the bundled rags. It looks very familiar. Captain Perk's blaster. The radio is spitting out all kinds of noise as if it's reacting to something. I should take a look at it. 
change the frequency. Okay. These monsters only pretend that they want to help me. I mean, shit. That fucking nurse ridicules and tortures me. That witch drenched me in boiling hot water in the showers. Does she really think that if I'm paralyzed from the waist down, then I can't feel anything in my legs? I finally got my chance, though. I managed to quietly snatch the key to the ward while she turned around to grab the shampoo. I've hidden it in one of the toilets. But I need to move fast. I have to escape before they torture me even more. There's no one here I can trust. Okay. So, one of the toilets. And then it was right... Or the toilets were over here. I wonder if that's open now. Unless it's in the toilet. Maybe client wasn't lying after all. I can see something inside. Word number six key. <laughs> I was waiting for something to bust out of that other stall. Um, oh, it's right here. Sweet. The door is locked. I need a key to open it. Okay. Right here. And use... Get ready. Oh. It's creepy eyes again. Nice. More ammo. Sweet. What a mess. There are medical tools and equipment lying around all over the place. So can I use that as a weapon? No, it doesn't seem like I can. Let me do this. How do I reload? Or does it not let me? Yeah, it won't let me reload. So it must not need to, I guess. Oh, damn. Okay, why am I not taking that? This rifle is only a replica model, unfortunately. What the shit? Uh, I'm so damn exhausted. My neighbor always shared his cigarettes, but he is gone now. Say, if you find me a cigarette, I'll tell you a little secret. Well, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch, I'm in. Mm -hmm. Thank you, kind stranger. One more thing, though. You wouldn't have a lighter by any chance. Nothing sadder than an unlit cigarette, I say. Uh, did I have a lighter? Looked like I did. Oh, no. So I need a light. Yep. Sorry, ma'am. Damn it. Okay, yep, yeah, replica. And is this, I wonder if this is the save. Ah, you have finally remembered the face of your father. However, I'm afraid there's much more to uncover. Rest for a moment. A long, arduous journey still remains. Sweet. I wasn't sure if I could save on the demo, but I assume the demo's not, not too long. All right, so where do I go now? I need a lighter. Now I have a scalpel. Oh, I can go to that body. That's right. Uh, Where was that body over here? I think right here, right? Or no, that's wrong. Because this goes to... Damn it. <laughs> of course I don't remember. Because that is... Uh, treatment room. Here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I knew it was... I thought it was on this side. This dude's going to be alive, isn't he? I'm going to cut into him. Apple. Sorry, pal. I have to do this. A lighter. Gross. Oh shit! Fuck. 
fucking behind me. Alright, I'm just running. What the shit? Will you run? Hey, that hurt me. Hopefully they can't come in here. Jesus. Listen, the anesthetic wasn't too strong last time, so I managed to overhear Heiser and Mary talking. I just, I just about caught a few words, enough to piece together the new door code. It's not much to share with you, but I definitely don't need it anymore. Maybe you'll have more use for it. 6754, don't you forget it. Well, now I gotta run from these SOBs. And then I'm hurt. Oh, uh, man, I'm sorry. Sorry, bro. I, I need more painkillers. I can still kind of see. And then I'm going to save it. Obviously. Six, seven, five, four. Here we go. Yeah, the... Uh, the camera, it keeps throwing me off. All right, here we go. Oh, they're gone. Oh shit, they're not gone. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Uh, six, seven, five, four, go, go. <sighs> Jesus. King figurine, ooh, I needed that. The head doctor is German? Huh, I suppose that's why this place has an operating theater. A uh, letter from Dr. F. Heiser. Uh, Doc, dear Max, how have you been? I heard that you have fallen seriously ill and you were unable to visit us as a, as a result. I hope it is nothing too serious. We have received the medication you sent us and I plan to test it on one of our patients. He's a former soldier who suffered from PTSD. However, he continues to become more unstable and aggressive towards both other patients and the staff. Just this morning, he bit Maria's hand and even attempted to strangle her. His violent outbursts are becoming more frequent and I am considering transferring him into a private room. He is a danger to everybody in the shared ward. I can only hope your medication will help him regain his sanity. I must also thank you for your kind words and thoughtful gifts. My gothic literature collection now contains the words of Robert Block. Thanks to you, my friend, I really needed this. The stress of the job is taking its toll on me. Sometimes it feels like I'm losing my mind. I'm far too old for this nonsense. Perhaps retirement is the only answer. I wish you a swift recovery and hope you will pay us a visit soon. An experimental drug. Yep. Makes sense. He never stopped rambling on about that kind of thing, even at the end. It was a lot to deal with. Another note, poem by Dr. F. Heiser. The raven's shrill call awoke the slumbering creature within its coffin, and so the call of the depths echoed. A madman slashed at the curtains of hell, raising the biting demons bound by endless pain, now plotting their schemes against mankind. Note to self, find evening poetry classes to attend. Hmm, that's a pretty decent collection right there. Um... Father. So I need to, yeah, I need to go back there and I need to go to that question mark, I believe, right? That's where the king needs to go. And I'm gonna have these damn monsters spitting on me. Oh, how do you get me that far? 
That's a bunch of old shit. This right? Oh, maybe it's the next one down. Yeah, I don't like that they can spit that far. That's a little annoying. Here we go. Oh, fuck up. Oh, wow. So you die rather quickly. But I also didn't want to waste my ammo. I'm curious. Let's see how much uh, how much it takes. No. Okay, he died rather quickly. Okay, that was a little too much. That's the bathroom. Uh, uh, so where do I take this king figurine? Because that's the shower. Yeah, I thought it was in here. No, I already did this. Unless it changes it. Maybe it changes it. Shower is boiling. Yeah, this... Yeah, okay. So it's still... It's like, did I miss something in here? Robert Block's Psycho book in his collection. That's what I need to do. There we go. Oh, um. Oh, um. I have no idea. The Raven. Okay, so how am I supposed to do that? The Legend of the World Horror. Edgar Allan Poe. Alright, so let me go back in the notes here. Uh, notes. Also, it must be... No, 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 no. Yeah, the poem. Raven's shrill calls awoke the slumbering creatures within its coffin. So that should be the raven. Okay. So it goes, uh, and so the call of the depths echoed. A mad... Okay, and so the call of the depths echoed. So that is definitely uh, Call of Cthulhu. Does it stay that way? Okay, so I'm going to have to memorize it. Uh, so call of Cthulhu, a madman slashed at the curtains of hell. Okay, so Hellraiser. So these two... And then, raising the biting demons bound by endless pain, now plotting their schemes against mankind, find evening poetry classic. Okay. So it goes, Ravens, Call of Cthulhu, raising the biting demons bound by endless pain, and plotting their schemes against mankind. Definitely Draco, Dracula's the second one. And then Call of Cthulhu. Then a madman, Hellraiser. There it is. Oh, read the books in right order. Okay, so I have them in order. So two, one, three, nine, four, six. Right? Two one three nine four six. Two one three nine 
four, six. North Hall key. All right. So I'm going to say there's going to be more monsters. Nope, they're still dead. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and save it. Sure, nothing good is awaiting us. What the fuck is that? Oh shit! What the fuck? So it seems like I can back up a bit. Jeez, man. Also, that's a, uh, that's another enemy. So it seems like I can, I don't have to, like, run. I can back up a little bit and miss, his, miss him from hitting me. Oh, wow. I was not expecting this room to be this big. Yeah, give me that first aid. Oh, now he's on the other side. Or no, it's this, okay, no. Hell is this childhood drawing? This no, it can't be. None of this is real. I'm just seeing things. Okay. Oh, is that just the light making that noise? Training room, so we got a projector here. There's something off putting about these. Okay, they seem inhuman. Yes, they do. You get around the damn thing. There you go. Read an old picture with my father. It's me and dad looking closely. There's something scribbled on the back. My son, my light, my burning star. I think I should go back down that hallway. Also, it's open now. Oh, here we go. How much ammo do I have? I don't think I have much. I probably shouldn't have used it. Yeah, seven rounds. Here we go. What the... F You think you're funny? All right, we're gonna have to dip out of here. Or it should be just straight across, right? What the shit? Oh god, okay, it's just this room. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so it's my room. This, this is my room. I love video games. They help me escape from the darkness of reality for a while. I think we can all relate to that sometimes. I used to fix all my toys myself, right here on this desk. Captain Perk's Galactic Blaster was my favorite of them all, but it was so brittle I had to constantly repair it. Alright, so clearly... Oops. There we go. 
I'm sorry, I don't have the time to fix you right now, my old friend. Next time, though, I promise. There should be something pinned up on this wall. Should be the painting. I still can't believe I drew, drew this. There are familiar figurines on the drawer. There's just one asshole missing, the king. Here we are. And then what was the last item? It was, uh, oh, I still have the gun for some reason. That's it, right? No one's here. Seems to come from the neighboring ward. Screw this shit, man. He just can't let go. We tried our best to help. You have gotten much further than we ever did. After all, that corrupt version of you has vanished for good. don't want to waste my bullets but I think that's one of the uh, big daddies all right screw it yeah sit the hell down bullets as well as you know there's gonna be a boss fight oh I gotta go back in there ooh it's creepy now now all the lights are flickering on and off Old film reel. So I'm guessing that's my dad. Yeah, this this nurse looks so friendly. So they're going to bring, uh, okay. Am I imagining things or did something just fall out from under that screen? So we're going to see some creepy nurses. Bolt cutters. Ooh, uh-oh. What does that mean? shotgun. Well, this is something new. Painkillers. Alright, so a flashback of being in the war. Forces even greater than those that beckoned you into this loop will pass judgment on your actions. Here we go. Oh, shit. 
I have no idea if that was something after us. would you do this to me it wasn't my fault this was all your choice you are the one who left and for what to come back a monster definitely saving that shit. Damn. That was creepy. And quite loud. Items. Bolt cutters. Bolt biters. You really want to test me? Make me feel sorry? Scare me? You think I deserve this? That you dead? Yeah, so it seems like I can back up. Oh, he did hit me there. Wrench, got it. Kaiser's note number two, there are fleeting moments where he regains his sanity in between his hallucination. He says that he's still uh, waiting for his son, Richard. It's the hope that he'll see him again that motivates the old man to keep on fighting. The war left a deep, dark stain on his mind and the demons of his past continue to haunt him both in his dreams and reality. He is heartbroken, abandoned, no one can heal his wounds, not even me. Oh, how convenient, you blocked me in. More painkillers. <laughs> Random mannequin. Ooh, now it's getting a little 
free beer. Boiler room. I try to turn on this faucet, nothing happens. Can I use the wrench? Oh, it's actual weapon. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I want the wrench. What did I say this this room was? Ah. Uh. Oh shit. Okay, so I need a passcode. Or lock combination. Yeah, looks even creepier down here. There's a familiar symbol on the valve. Open the valve. No, let's not open that yet. As there's no number three, the experimental treatment with the new drug is showing promising results despite the patient's resistance. However, one downside is that Clint's paranoia is worsening. He rambles about disturbing stories that even a man with a sick imagination wouldn't be able to think of. In order to placate Clint, I've changed the color of the drug from yellow to red. His aversion to yellow substances stems from his delusions of a similarly colored drug that was administered during the war. Ew. That guy that passed away on the bed was my dad. What a nightmare to live through. Hello? Okay. I don't know what you're doing back there, but I'm going. So that's what I heard, the thing on the wall. Alright, well, there you go. Don't get near those damn things. I thought that was a uh, med kit. Yeah, I heard those while we were running, and the door is locked. I need a key to open it. See what's in here. What the hell is that? A pipe. Is that a weapon? Nope. Hmm. I assume monsters are gonna pop up now. Oh yeah, what I tell you. I think they, they they will wait by the door. I gotta wait till they move and then I didn't mean to go here, I meant to go to the boiler room. Yep, that's what I figured. Whoops. Nice. So now what? Operating theater key. There was only one door, and it's all the way the one all the way up top to the left, right? Okay. But I gotta run past these bitches again. I'm gonna see if I can kill him though. Without alerting the other dude. See how quick this kills him. Okay, just a couple hits. And then let's see. Or 
hits is not bad. Down with that. Uh, yeah, let's not turn these valves yet. And then operating theater key. Oh, this is where I heard that noise. There's another patient in the morgue. It was that soldier who suffered burns all over his body in one of the battles. You shared a cigarette with him, yes? That's my boy. But it would do you good to meet with him again. Listen to your father and you'll find the code for the lock. Oh, and while I remember, I overheard a conversation between the staff that the numbers must be entered in descending order, so don't forget that. I know you hear me, I know. I know. They're descending order. Yellow syringe. Alright, well, let's absolutely save it. Alright. Okay, so I have the yellow syringe. All right, so I just got the key from uh, the morgue. Now I gotta figure out this tub code. Put these valves. So we have a flame an arrow, a water splat, a circle. But I remember, I was quite sure I saw a code in here. I think it's on these doors. I thought so. Yep, okay, cool, that's convenient. Symbols mean they are the different chapters. Yep, so it looks like it's Water, let's say water, flame, arrow, circle. Water, flame, arrow, circle. Water. Fire. And what was it? Arrow. Yep. Arrow. And circle. Strange liquid is almost completely drained from the tub. I can see something sitting at the bottom. Okay, so a red syringe. And I believe we are ready. Go through this door. Yeah, we have the syringe key. And definitely use my weapon here. And I think, yeah, well, okay. Oh, so it all led up to this. This hell you put me through. Well, your reckless son is here now. What's up, Dad? So the son who left his poor old man to rot in this asylum finally decided to show up. Too fucking late. They gave me another shot. I can't control it. If you want to live, Richard, you'd better run. Oh no, what the shit is this? Okay, so this is that same monster I saw earlier. 
Alright, so clearly I need a gun. Okay, what is he doing? Oh, gonna have other monsters after me, what the shit? I wasn't expecting to die in one hit. Okay, so that didn't seem to kill him. just assumed, yeah, I needed to kill, or I needed to prevent him from regaining his health, because he kept sucking up that blood. Hey, dude, I can't get over his ass cheeks. What the shit? Why did they have to do that? Refusing to decide is a choice in itself. I admire your attitude. Now, you may rest for a short while, and the face of your father bid one last farewell. Okay, well I stuck him with the syringes, but it didn't seem to do anything. I wonder if that's a different ending, maybe? Okay, well I couldn't... Alright, I guess I just go. Just in case. Oh.
I said, I feel like we're trapped in our father's mind. Or maybe his purgatory. I was no father, at least not in the way that matters. I abandoned you when you needed me most. The war chewed me up and spat me out. I became a mangled mess of the man I once was. Not that I was anything that great to begin with. We weren't drugged up on the battlefield back there. It was hell on earth, running through the explosions, choking on the polluted air. It was so difficult to see clearly. Our squad ran into a group of enemy soldiers and without hesitation I took aim. But we were mistaken. I only realized once the flames lit up their uniform and those familiar faces writhed in agony. I stood there and watched as their skin melted beneath the blaze of my flamethrower. A darkness spread within me like a tumor and I attributed its origin, attributed its origin to some fantasy. Perhaps if I repeated this lie enough, it would become true that that desperate incantation, incantation consumed me. If only I accepted the truth instead, it would have been difficult and I would have still had some darkness to fight, but for once I wouldn't have been selfish. I could have proved myself as a father, no matter my imperfections. I don't blame you for sending me here, after all, there was nothing you could do to save me. I was so stubborn, but so was my love for you, Richard. It was the only thing that kept me alive for so long. My son, I am so sorry. Thank you for coming to see me one last time. Well, he forgave him in the end. A long demo, man. He forgives me, even though I was so angry and full of hatred towards him. He still forgives me. There's nothing I can do now to redeem myself, but I will have my revenge. I will not be broken by those visions of the past. The evil in this world will not bring me to my knees. I will not surrender. I've survived father's pain, and I will fight through the rest. The loop will be broken, and it will be by my hand. See you on the other side, Dad. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, it's like one in the morning. Yep. Once again, I'm just a huge fan, I've always been, of Silent Hill, and this definitely brings back those vibes really good, so I'm going to definitely put this on my wish list, and I'm going to be playing through this full game. Uh, super creepy. Ambiance was awesome. Combat was <laughs> very similar to Silent Hill. Not great, but manageable. Yeah, so... Interesting, man. All right. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> and thanks for all the new subscribers. I truly appreciate it. You you don't even understand. Thank you for watching my dumbass content. <laughs> but I'll see you in the next video.